Good morning, Oklahoma. Welcome to Cow Calf Corner. Well, to follow up last week's topic, let's say that you have figured out you want to use a heat synchronization on your cows and do some AI breeding this spring. As we always say, heat synchronization needs to be well planned. Let's say you've determined your protocol you're going to use. You've picked out the bull you want to AI your cows to. We're going to address this week the signs of standing heat and when is the time to be AIing those cows once you've figured out your cows are in heat. Heat detection is the number one most limiting factor in successful AI breeding programs. We typically say with good heat detection, good herd health, proper plane and nutrition and management, AI should be successful about 60% of the time we apply it. So what are the signs of standing heat in beef cows and heifers? Well, the first sign, and, and what I say is the number one silver bullet sign that a cow's in standing heat, she is actually going to stand for other cows to mount, or a bull to potentially mount. This is the most important visual sign we see that a cow is in the process of ovulating or getting ready to ovulate. What are the other signs we're going to see when we've synchronized a group of cows? We're going to see cows that start to get restless. They're going to be pretty active, potentially walk fences. We're going to see cows that do a lot of bawling, maybe just standing at a fence and bawling to something that's in another pasture. We're going to see cows throw their head in, their air, in the air, potentially curl back their lip. In anticipation of mounting activity, they're probably going to rest their chin on the back or hips of other cows and they're going to do a lot of mounting of other cows or try to mount other cows as they're coming in heat or actually in standing heat themselves. It's pretty natural to see a clear mucus discharge. Sometimes we're going to see a little bloody discharge, but that's more typical after we've actually seen a cow ovulate. Now once we've determined that, when should we AI breed? Our typical rule of thumb, we're going to check heat twice a day. We want to be doing it early a.m. and about 12 hours later in the p.m. If we're using sex semen and, off, and observing a, a naturally occurring standing heat, we may want to back off those breeding times of about four to six hours. A few final thoughts on the importance of good heat detection. In Oklahoma and spring calving herds, we want to get started on that a.m. heat detection about the crack of dawn. As the day's high temperatures set in, it's going to decrease the amount of mounting and riding activity that we're actually going to observe in cow herds. Hope this helps and good luck with your spring heat synchronizations and AI breeding.